How's it going guys? It's Kyle or the How To Guy 123 here. And in today's video, I'll show you how to create a minimalistic and clean desktop theme for Windows 10 or 11. This is all done with free software and there are two themes to choose from, day and night. First, let's change our wallpaper to an animated video of Mount Fuji. I usually do this with Wallpaper Engine, which is a paid software on Steam. I'll show you a free alternative to Wallpaper Engine in just a moment, but if you already have Wallpaper Engine, I'll leave a link to the wallpaper on the Steam Workshop if you'd like to subscribe to it. The advantage of using Wallpaper Engine is that you have a few more customization options, as well as the ability to set the wallpaper to automatically change from day to night after 6pm. A free alternative to Wallpaper Engine is called Lively Wallpaper, and you can download it on the Microsoft Store. I have a full tutorial on Lively Wallpaper if you'd like to learn more, but I'll go over the basics in this video. Once you have Lively Wallpaper installed, you'll need to download the wallpapers, which I provided in the description below. After you've downloaded the wallpapers, use your favorite extraction program to extract the zip folder. Once the folder is extracted, you'll see four files. There are two image files for Mount Fuji during the day and night if you just want to have a static wallpaper rather than a live animated one. The other two files are video clips that we can import into Lively and use them as our live wallpaper. In Lively, click on Add Wallpaper and drag the video clip of either the day or night into Lively. The video clip will then be imported into Lively and after that click on OK. After a few seconds, your wallpaper will be changed to an animated wallpaper of Mount Fuji. Now that we've set our live wallpaper, let's hide our desktop icons to make it cleaner. Right click on your desktop and go up to view, and then uncheck show desktop icons. This will make all your desktop icons disappear. If you would like to re-enable them again, right click on your desktop, go back up to view, and then check show desktop icons. Now let's center those taskbar icons and make our taskbar transparent. To do this, we're going to need to use a program called Taskbar X. I've also made an in-depth video about Taskbar X, but I'll go over everything you need to know in this video. I'll leave a link to download Taskbar X in the description below. Once you're on this page, under Downloads, click on the latest version. This will redirect you to our GitHub page, and click on Taskbar X64.zip to download it. Once Taskbar X is done downloading, extract the zip to its own folder. Once the zip file is done extracting, open this PC, go to your C drive, then open up Program Files. Now drag the taskbar x folder into your program files. Now that the folder is in your program files, open it and look for a file called taskbarx.exe. And once you found it, double click on it. On Windows 10, your taskbar icon should move to the center of the taskbar. However, if you're running Windows 11, you shouldn't notice much of a difference if your icons are already centered on the taskbar. Now look for the taskbarxconfigurator.exe file and double click on it to open it. Here's where we'll make our taskbar transparent. Under the Style tab, select Transparent and then click on Apply. Your taskbar should now be transparent. We can now close out of Taskbar X. We can now make the taskbar cleaner by hiding the search bar. Right click on it, then go up to Search and then select Show Search Icon. So only the search icon will appear on the taskbar. Next, we can hide News and Interest by right clicking on it, going up to News and Interests, and selecting Turn Off. Now let's install RainMeter in order to display widgets or skins on our desktop, such as the clock and the unfold desktop icons. Once again, I'll leave a link to download RainMeter in the description below. I also have a tutorial on RainMeter if you'd like a more in-depth guide on how to use it. I'm also going to skip over installing RainMeter in this tutorial, as it pretty much just installs like any other program. Once you open RainMeter for the first time, some default skins will show on your desktop. Open the RainMeter manager in your system tray, and once it's open, click on the Active Skins drop-down, then select a skin. Click Unload to unload the skin off your desktop, and do the same to unload all of the default skins. Now let's download and install our skins. We'll be using three skins in this tutorial. All the download links to the skins are provided in the description below. The first two skins you'll need to download are on a website called Visual Skins. First, let's download the Simplistic Clock. Click the blue download button, and this will download a .rm skin file. Next, download the mod skin. Once again, click the blue download button to download the skin file. The file skin we'll download is called Unfold, which are the pop-out desktop icons. This skin is on Debian Art, and unfortunately, you need to make an account to download it. But once you made an account, just click on the download button, and that will download the Unfold skin. 
Once you have all the skins downloaded, click on each of the RM skin files to open it. A skin installer window will open and click on the install button to install the skin. When installing the mod skin, a settings window may pop out. Just close out of it for now. Also when installing skins, they may automatically be applied to your desktop. I just went ahead and unloaded all the skins once they got installed just to make things a little bit cleaner. Now that all the skins are installed, let's load them onto our desktop. First we'll start with the simplistic clock. In the rain meter manager, open the simplistic clock folder and click on light.ini and load it. Click on it and drag it to position it on top of Mount Fuji. The clock is a little bit small so we'll need to edit it. Back in the rain meter manager with the light.ini file selected, click on edit. A notepad will open and you'll see some parameters we can edit. First we can change the clock format from a 24 hour clock to a 12 hour clock. Under measure time, change the percent %h in format to percent %i. Make sure it is a capital I. Scroll down to meter time and change the font size to 84. Next, under meter date, change the font to 18 and the Y to 125R. Save the notepad file and unload and load the skin again to see your changes. You may want to mess around with these values depending on how large you want the clock. Next, let's load the recycle bin icon from the mod theme. I used this skin to replace Windows's recycle bin icon. In the rain meter manager, open the mod folder, then recycle bin, and load recycling bin.ini. Move the recycling bin to the bottom right hand corner of your desktop, then head back to the rain meter manager and load the mod settings. The mod settings window will open and change the play button icon to white, and that will change the recycling bin icon to white. Once that is done, you can close out of the settings. After that, we can add our unfold icons. In the rain meter manager, open the unfold folder and you'll see a list of all the programs you can have icons for on your desktop. You can make your own icons, which I'll touch on in just a sec. Open a folder for the program icon you want on your desktop, then open up the white folder for a white icon. For this example, I'll choose OBS. Load the INI file for the icon and it will appear on the top left hand corner of your screen. To move it lower on the screen in the rain meter manager, you need to increase the Y coordinate. Next, load the INI file for your next unfold icon. I'll choose Minecraft in this example. Next, set the Y coordinate to about 60 pixels from the first icon. So if your first unfold icon has a Y coordinate of 450, your next icon should have a Y of 510. Repeat this for as many unfold icons as you want. If you try and click on an unfold icon, it should open up your program. If it does not, we'll need to set the file path for the icon. In Raymeter, click on the Active Skins dropdown, choose the unfold icon you want to fix. In this case, I'll choose VLC. Then click Edit, and this will open up a notepad with the parameters of the skin. Look for where it says Left Mouse Up Action, and at the end of the line, you'll see a file path. We'll need to replace this with the actual file path of our program. In this case, my VLC is located on my C drive, Program Files, Video LAN, and then VLC. And in this folder, you'll see a VLC.exe. Right click on VLC.exe, then click Properties, and copy where it says Location, and paste it as the file path in Notepad. Make sure that the file path ends with VLC.exe or the executable of your program. And once that is done, save the Notepad and unload and reload the skin. And this time, if you click on the Unfold icon, your program will open. Now repeat this to fix any other unfold icons. To save time on this video, I won't go into too much detail on creating your own unfold icons, but if you go into your documents folder and open up rain meter, skins, unfold, and create a new button folder, there's a text file which will explain to you how to do it. And that's all there is to it to creating a minimalistic Mount Fuji desktop theme. Here's the final product. Feel free to make any changes to the theme to really personalize your desktop. Anyways, that brings us to the end of the tutorial. If it helped, please leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.